what is up welcome to my channel so i'm so excited for today's video i am going to be talking about the newest released blush palettes that have come out on the market i'm doing this because simply i love blush blush is so in right now i love looking extra flushed i cannot live without blush and honestly a spring trend i believe is going to be kind of over applied blushy looks so i thought this video to be rather fitting and since there has been so many blush palettes that have come out i've actually gotten a few questions as to which blush palette is it better to get? Should I get this or this? So this video hopefully is going to help you decide on that. Obviously, I cannot decide for you, but I will give you my opinions on what I think is better or just simply based on your needs, you can decide from this video. By the way, if you do like my very blushed face right now, I did film a tutorial of this look. I did use three of the blush palettes in this video. So if you would like to see how I got this look, the tutorial is up and um, yes, obsessed. Okay. Anyways, there will be five face palettes. I am featuring in today's video. We have the Jouer Bouquet d'Amour Six Shade Blush Palette. We have the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. The Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. The Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad Palette. And the Benefit Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad Palette. I do have individual reviews of four of these palettes that I will link down below if you want more of my in-depth thoughts on these palettes. But this is more of a comparison kind of telling you what each palette has to offer. So I am going to start off with the only palette in this video that I don't have a full dedicated review on and that is the Jouer Bouquet D'Amour blush palette. So this palette is $42. It is limited edition and you can get it on Jouer's website as well as sephora.com. So this guy is very very compact, really great for travel and then when you open it up you do get six powder blushes. These are quite large in size. If you ask me, perfect for the brush to fit inside. This palette, I would say it definitely runs much more pink. You do have this very unique orange color right here, but for the most part, this palette is extremely pink. So if you don't like a pink blush, I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to skip on this one. I personally, I love a pink blush. I love pink. So I love this blush palette. So Jouer is very known for their blush formula. Uh, so actually each of these shades, at least one of them, is featured in their blush duos that are very popular so that is why I picked this one up I had never tried the Jouer blush formula and I can tell you right now this formula is amazing I'm so glad that I waited to purchase this palette so that I didn't have to buy all of those duos because like I said I believe all of the duos that they sell at least one shade in each of those duos is in this palette and oh my gosh you guys I am so obsessed with this blush palette this was actually in my monthly favorites last month and um, if I was gonna repeat it I would definitely put this in my favorites again for this month. This is such a beautiful formula. The Jouer formula is not hyped up for no reason. Such a good blendable formula. Four of these shades are repeated, but two of these are exclusive to this palette. I simply love all of these colors on my cheeks. This color isn't that flattering on me, but I tried to make it work because I like it, so I still use this, but this on my skin tone isn't that flattering, but on medium to deep skin tones, I think this is beautiful. All these are quite pigmented, and I do think that this palette does work quite well for a wide range of skin tones just because they do have a lot of color in them and they are bright and you are able to kind of choose how much pigmentation you want on the cheek. They blend out beautifully. So this is ugh, one of my favorite blush palette releases. So the next one I have here to talk about is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This is very different from the Jouer palette. Complete different concept. This is $55. It is not limited edition. It is permanent. So I will say you can wait on getting this because it is going to be available in store for a long long time it also is very tiny and compact it's a little bit chunkier up this way but it is super small so in it this one you are getting four different pans now this isn't just solely a blush palette you are getting a cream blush a cream highlight a powder blush and a powder highlight so this is a cheek palette but you're getting blush and highlighters and you're getting different textures as well so this entire palette is going to give you a super glowy cheek so if you don't like a glowy cheek immediately knock this one out <laughs> you don't need this one now if you saw my review on this i have been so obsessed with this this was in my favorites last month as well i think the quality on this is stupendous everything in this palette is just so extremely thought out so the cream blush right here can work on so many different skin tones this is even going to show 
show up on dark skin tones. It blends out super lovely, and if you use a dual fiber brush, you can use it if you are quite fair. You also have the Glow Cream Base. This is, again, going to be great on medium to deep skin tones. On me, it's not really much of a highlighter per se. I did use it today as a base for my regular powder highlighter, so I definitely can use this. Or if you are going for a very blushed look and you put this on the higher points of your cheek that is going to highlight you a little bit. You do have a duo glow. So there isn't a matte blush in this really. So this is going to give you a very highlighted cheek look. So kind of a blush and a highlight all in one. Again, if you don't like glow, you're not going to like this. And then you have her Glow Extreme Powder, which is so beautiful, so glowy. I mean, that's all I can really say about this palette. It is glowy. You are gonna get one finish on your cheek, which is glow, shine, highlight. You are getting quality in this palette. You are getting glow in this palette and I'm obsessed with this palette. This one's really good too. All right, so this next one I have talked about in multiple videos. This is the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. This one retails for $59 and this one is limited edition. So basically the premise of this is you get one highlighter and five blushes, all of which provide a very subdued sheen to your cheek. The highlighter is okay. It's not my favorite, but um, if I do use this palette, I will just use this highlighter. I don't mind it. I don't think it is bad, by any means. It's just not a standout highlighter in my collection. And you are getting a slight sheen on your cheek. It's not like a glow, like a shimmer, like the Natasha Denona, but a healthy sheen is what I would describe this as. And it is really beautiful. Now, that being said, you guys know, if you watch my videos, this just isn't my favorite blush palette. It does not deposit a lot of color on your cheeks. Now, a lot of you guys were recommending different ways for me to use this, such as going as far as scraping off the top layer, which I just can't do with this beautiful watercolor embossment. Also using it wet, I'm not going to use a blush palette wet. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so for me, I just cannot get these to work to my liking. I do get a very nice sheer pretty flush, so that is why I keep this palette because it is pretty. Sometimes I don't want a really bright blush, believe it or not. So there is a time and a place for this, but it's just not my favorite and I feel like you guys were giving me a bunch of great suggestions on how to make this work, but honestly, if I have to go through that trouble to make this blush palette work, then it's just, it's just not a good blush palette for me, okay? I said what I said. A lot of people love this, so just because I don't like it doesn't mean you aren't going to like it. So many people love the fact that this doesn't have a crazy amount of pigmentation, um, especially if you are very heavy-handed or you are very fair. I think deep skin tones stay far, far away from this palette, uh, but if you do like a very subtle flush and you aren't into a super crazy blush on your cheek, you might like this. So this isn't my favorite not the one that I'm going to recommend to you guys, but if you are extremely fair or you don't like a lot of blush on your cheek, you might like this. Also, you know what? Some people have said they do get a lot of pigment from it. That's just my two cents and my opinion's not gonna change. I'm sorry. Okay, so now let's get into the Benefit Cheek Leaders Squad Palette. Now I do have a whole review comparing these two, so I'm not gonna go too, too into depth, uh, but yeah, I like the Bronze Squad better in case you're wondering, and I will tell you why. But these each retail for $60 and they are limited edition, but they are going to be sold throughout the year. So this is like a year long palette. So you do have a little bit if you are deciding on whether or not to get this palette or not. So let's talk about the Bronze Squad. So here is why I love these palettes. You get five full-size Benefit products, making it a $150 retail, and it's only $55, which I cannot believe. So in the Bronze Squad, you're getting a Hoola Bronzer, a Coralista Blush, a Gold Rush Blush, a Cookie Highlighter, and a Hoola Caramel Bronzer, which is one of their new bronzers. So there are two new shades in this palette, Cookie Highlighter and Hoola Caramel Bronzer. I love this palette. These Benefit palettes are face palettes, not just cheeks palettes, so you are getting that added benefit. Now, what I don't love in this palette is Gold Rush. It's just not my favorite blush. I did use it today in the tutorial, so I will tell you kind of how I use it and how I got use out of this, but I like a little bit more pigment. This just doesn't doesn't do it for me. Um, I don't really like Hula Caramel on my skin tone as well. If you have more of a tan skin tone, I think you will like this. It's a tad bit deeper than Hula. Also, I feel like this would look beautiful on somebody with an olive undertone in their skin, so maybe you would like that. But this actually is a really pretty crease color, so I do like that. But what kind of makes this whole palette for me is the Cookie Highlighter. I think this highlighter is 
one of my favorite highlighters in my entire collection. This highlighter alone made this palette worth getting because you cannot get this individually. They do have a little mini cheek leaders palette where there is a mini size of this. So if you want to spend $30, I would recommend getting that, especially for this. Um, you do get a Hoola bronzer, which is one of the best bronzers. It's a classic and I do enjoy Coralista blush. I think this is going to be beautiful in the summertime. So I really love this palette and I'm getting my favorite bronzer, my favorite highlighter, and then Coralista is just a nice general blush but there are two that I don't like in here as much. So I only like three of the five, but those three are just so good that even for $60, this is definitely worth it. So I do love this one. So the next one that I have to talk about is the Pink Squad one. So in this, you're getting California Blush, Tickle Highlight, Hula Bronzer, Dandelion Blush, and Dallas Blush. So there are pros and cons to this one as well. You're gonna get California Blush, which is a beautiful coral shade. I really do enjoy this. Tickle, which on me isn't much of a highlighter. It's more of a transition highlighter, if you ask me. So I will apply my blush color and use this as a transition between my blush and my highlight because it is kind of an awkward color. Or you could put it all over your cheek for a really pretty glow. Hula bronzer is also in this. You can never have too many hulas if I'm being honest. Dandelion blush is such a pretty soft pink blush. I really like this blush. And then Dallas is a weird color. Um, it's like a blush bronzer kind of... So if I'm going for more of a bronze look, I will actually use this kind of as a lower area blush to kind of blend out my bronzer. So that's just what I would use this for on my skin tone. I like this one a lot as well. I'm just saying if Cookie Highlighter was in here, this palette would be perfect. So if you are are looking for more of a bronzed look with a pink cheek I think you will like this one better but like I said to really compare these two of which ones you should get you should really watch my review because I'm kind of comparing all five of these together so if you ask me what the best value is I definitely think the benefit cheek leader squad is the best value you're getting five full-size benefit products and you're getting an array for your face as well the quality on these is superb so this wins the best value I think though that the Jouer is also a really great value. It is $42 for six giant blushes. It's just, this is just a blush palette. So if you're looking for solely a blush palette, this is my favorite all blush palette. It is so beautiful, such great quality. I do not regret getting this palette at all. I think it is fabulous. And of everything in here, this is kind of my favorite powder blush formula. So Formulation wise, this one wins. Most unique, in my opinion, is the Natasha Denona Bloom and Glow. So this guy, I want her to come out with other colors. You get the most variety in finish, but this isn't going to be for everybody because it is so glowy. But this is by far the most unique and it's just, oh, it's so fun. I love this. And then NARS Exposed, I $59 is kind of a lot, but you know what? It's NARS and that's what you expect. So if you're looking for a really pretty sheer blush formula, uh, something that's not scary at all to use, this is your best bet. So that's kind of my opinion on all five of these blushes. I will do a quick personal ranking, but I did try to describe the different needs of each of these palettes, but here is my personal ranking. Ooh, this is hard because they all are very, very different. So my least favorite in here, sorry, NARS Exposed. I can't lie, okay? You guys know I'm honest. This is just my least favorite. I just don't really care for the formula that much. The fourth or second to most least favorite is the Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad. I really actually genuinely love this palette, but feel like the colors in here could have been better, but it's still really good, but you know, Ranking these are hard. I love these, okay? I don't even know. I really need to think. This is number three, but it doesn't feel like number three to me, the Jouer palette. And that's only because this is solely just blushes. If we're going on best formula, this is the best formula, but it's just a blush palette. But I love it, but it's just a blush palette, so that's why it's number three. Number two is the Benefit Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad because one, it has my favorite highlighter, two, it has a really pretty blush, and three, it is the best value, um, and you get the most bang for your buck in this palette and the most variety. So that is why this is number two. And then my most favorite is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow. It's just so different and I'm so into this bright glowy cheek. So at the moment I'm loving this and the formula of these creams are 
amazing. I've been grabbing for this palette all the time lately to add a glow to my cheeks. So at the moment, this is number one. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope this helped you pick out which of the new blush palettes you are thinking of getting. Yeah, let me know down below what you are thinking, what you're planning on getting, and just your opinions between all of these palettes. I honestly want to hear we can help each other out. So like I said, hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and this will cause you to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.